Thanks Keeps for sponsoring this video. Butter and steak. Let's be honest, there's no better combination. Whenever you see bubbling butter on steaks like this, you know it's gonna be good. However, is there anything better? Well, that's what today's video is all about. Let me explain. You see, every time I go to the butter aisle on the supermarket, there's so many different options. Every kind of butter replacement you can think of, they have. So I decided to test them all to see if any one of them can be better than butter. And here we have our contestants for today. They are all quite popular throughout the United States. And let's see how they stack up against butter. I first started with the olive oil replacement butter. As you can see, it's not butter at all. It's vegetable oil blend. But what I really care about is how is it going to taste. So I wanted to go ahead and spread it on some toast. The next one is this squeezable butter. This is very popular in the barbecue circuit. People use it all the time on their ribs. However, just like you thought, it is not butter at all. It's based on soil bean oil. Oh boy. But let's see how they taste. Typical butter and toast. This tastes like, you know, your ordinary uh, toast and butter. I don't taste like a uh, toast you would get at a hotel, probably. Pretty good. I have nothing much to say. That one's better. Mmm. Still tastes like butter and toast, but this one's a lot better. Is this butter? This is really good. That one's mom's toast right there. That means this one's better. And here's the second batch. We got this plant-based butter, which is made out of coconut oil. Oh boy. I just hope my guys enjoy it. The next one is the most popular one of them all. I can't believe it's not butter. And it is so easy to use because you just gotta spray it on. However, is the taste good? Doesn't taste like anything. School cafeteria toast right there. Tastes bland. Not oh, fine. Yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. Doesn't have much flavor either, to be honest. Doesn't taste like butter. Tastes like uh, bread and no butter. And there was one thing that came out of this result. Both of these butter replacements tasted like, well, just listen to Sebastian. They're both sh I couldn't have said any better. So both of these are out. And here are our two champions. There's one thing I love more than anything else whenever I'm cooking steaks and butter. That is how the butter becomes brown and coats all over the steak. And for that, we need to test it out to see if it's gonna produce the same exact thing. The first one is gonna be the squeezable butter. So to test this, all I have to do is to throw it in a good amount in the pan and set my heat on the highest setting. I wanted to know if it was gonna brown up, change flavor, and produce something better. In the end, you can clearly see that that a little bit has become brown, so that got my hopes up. However, I went ahead and did the same exact thing with the olive oil one, and this one was even better result. Because once I placed it in the pan and heated it up on high heat, take a look. Now this is exactly what I was looking for. So now it was time to go on with the experiment. And for that, I decided to use these three beautiful steaks. They are one and a half inches thick, choice grade steak with wonderful marbling, and just exactly what you're looking for whenever you want great steaks. Now since this experiment is all about the butters, I'm gonna be keeping the seasoning real simple. First, a good amount of salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. My steaks are now ready to be cooked. However, just in case this experiment goes south, I went ahead and decided to make an incredible side dish for us today. This one, I can guarantee it's gonna please everyone. Now to make it, it is ridiculously easy and here's how. The first thing to do is to go ahead and boil some eggs. We're looking for hard boil, anywhere between 13 minutes to 14 minutes. Because once it's done, you should have all the eggs ready to go. The next thing to do is to go ahead and remove the yolk. And let me show you the easiest way to do that. After rolling your knife in the egg like this, go ahead and separate one half. Just push out the yolk like this. As you can see, it does not get any easier than that. Once everything has been separated, go ahead and throw all of the yolks into a food processor, followed by roasted bell peppers, a good amount of mayo, followed by sour cream, Dijon mustard, and a pinch of salt. Blend everything on high because once you have done so, your filling mix is now ready. If you want to have a nice presentation, I highly recommend using a piping bag. If you don't have one, you can just use a spoon. These are just simple devil eggs. However, we're gonna take this to a whole new level. First is to go ahead and cut up some bread, spread a good amount of butter on them, and toast them until they are nice and golden brown just like this. Next, I went ahead and deep fried some prosciutto. If you've never done this, it is super simple. Just get your oil nice and hot and deep fry it until it's nice and golden brown. When you remove it from the oil, you will not be crispy. However, just let it sit and cool down because in the end, you should have nice crispy ham. Now to assemble, it's super simple. First, I started with a good amount of sour cream, one line of sriracha, a tiny bit of parsley for coloring and flavor, followed by that beautiful deviled egg we just made, and of course, to finish it off, a piece of ham. Now, this is today's side dish, and I'll tell you one thing. It tastes amazing. Don't believe me? Well, you just wait and see, because the only thing left to do is to go ahead and finish off our steaks. And here's how it's gonna go down. First, I'll be putting a nice, wonderful sear. To finish them off, I'll be using our replacement butter. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect 
direct heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Because now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to go ahead and grill some beautiful steaks. So let's do it. Does that look good or what? But before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Keeps. Two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35. I actually started way before that. So if you're seeing this part right here, pushing back a little, your face is not growing, my bros. Your hair is thinning out. So it's never too early to start thinking about taking care of your hair and keeping your hair with Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps you keep your hair. Keeps offers clinically proven, researched back treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. And the best part is that it is personally tailored for you by a licensed medical provider. It is affordable and delivers straight to your door. And once you get your treatment plan, you get one year of unlimited on-demand access to a dedicated medical provider. In addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have, Keeps has you covered. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get a special offer, go to keeps.com slash googlefoods or click the link on the description. That's k-e-e-p-s dot com slash googlefoods. Thank you Keeps for sponsoring in this video but now let's get right back to it all right everybody here we got our beautiful steaks gentlemen with a very fancy side dish that looks amazing this is very unlike google foods we're used <laughs> to cheese and potatoes not this beautiful presentation i mean he's anyway i mean uh... <laughs> Bam, Leo! I'm sorry, Google. <laughs> no, you know what? You're right. We're simple people. We don't like fancy food too much. No. I have a very good experiment here. If there's one thing that is best with steak is what? Butter! Damn right, okay? <laughs> We're gonna go this direction today. <laughs> Leo, go ahead, please. All right. Everybody always asks me, Google, do you get tired of steak? Nope. Hell you? No. no. You? Hell no. Exactly. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Ah. Wow. That's money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so creamy, so savory, so rich. So beefy. It also has a flavor there that I'm not quite used to. I think it just has an overall more savory feel. I have to agree with what Leo was saying. There's a little bit of a unique flavor, but it's not bad. I think it enhances the steak a little bit. I can't put my finger on what it is. It's just a really good steak. Very delicious, nice. very good. Now, I want to know if it's going to go up or down from here. And believe me when I tell you, that is not the control. What? Oh, changing things up. I like it. I like it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Please, second one. Again. Enough talking, let's give it a try, everybody. Cheers. 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 Oh. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I think the door of heaven just opened up, everybody. <laughs> oh God. I feel like I want to say this is the winner without even trying that third steak. That's how good this steak is. This is ridiculously, ridiculously good. How are we supposed to go up from here? I have to say that this one is a lot better. What do you guys think? The one that we just tried, one million percent, it's not even close. This wow. one is a thousand times better. It's, Leo said a million, but it's so much better. There's no competition. Creamier, it tastes more savory, more rich than the previous one, which was already an improvement from a normal control steak. I cannot agree more. This one is delicious, but now I cannot wait for you guys to try the third one. Let's go. Dig it. Come on, Google. Tell me you went all the way to Spain. We ain't going to even try this. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you put this in your carry-on? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll make it. <laughs> let's give it a try. You guys ready? Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. It is not hard to make. It takes a little bit of time, but Freaking amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the perfect side dish to cut the fattiness of the steak. Believe it or not, it's actually very light of a side dish. A lot of flavor here. Savory, it's a little bit sour. It's a little bit creamy. It's a little bit spicy. You have like that crunch from the bread, that soft egg, and that little bit of bacon on top. Amazing. Mm. 
I don't eat all the side dish often. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, everybody. That is how good that was. Enough. I am very excited for the last one for you guys to try. Are you ready? Yes. All right, please dig in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Wow. What is that? It's over. It's <laughs> over. How did we get better from the last one? Really? How? How did you manage that? I agree with 2K, 2 million percent. <laughs> Leo, your percentages are really yeah, high, bro. I, 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 they're, they're not mathematically accurate at whatsoever, but you know what? They make sense if you tried this steak, because God, that is so good. You guys are saying that this one is better than the one we tried previously? Yep. Uh, why? I think that this one, it's the perfect balance of beefy flavors, savoriness, creaminess, and just the richness that you get from the steak. I have to agree with Leo, this one hits all your marks. The beefiness, the savoriness, the creaminess, everything. It just hits everything exactly where you want it. I like this one the best, hands down. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm quite surprised by your answer. Maybe it's because I know the answer, but I prefer the one in the middle, the one, the previous one. This one has a very nice savory, but I feel like it's much creamier. Yes. Would you guys agree? Yes, 100%. So these are all butter replacement <laughs> options. The middle one is real butter, but the first one is olive oil replacement butter. And then the third one is kind of like a squeezable butter, basically. Like the stuff you spray on corn? like on No, corn that on one. Oh, okay. But this one right here is very delicious and creamy. It's yeah. the one that comes in the blue bottle, guys. Okay. Nice. So it's almost unanimous. The last one is better. Yep. Yes. I, I, I split my, my answer in a half, half and half. Fake butter more better. <laughs> Fake butter is better, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.